In today's lesson, we are going to talk about modified box plots. We talked the other day about how when you make a box and whisker, you have the box, which contains the middle 50% of the data, and then the whiskers that extend to the min and the max. However, sometimes you have a really high or really low score, which can cause your whisker to be extremely long. For example, look at this data set that we see below. This data represents the number of minutes of sleep after the first alarm clock rings. And if you look, the majority of the scores are clustered between 8 and 18. However, we have these large values at the end, 42 and 56. And if we were to draw a box and whisker plot, we would have our whisker, our box, and then we'd have a really long whisker on the other end to represent those really far outlying data points. So and a topic that we talk about frequently is the word outliers, and outliers are these unusually high or low data points that don't fit with the rest of the data. And sometimes it's important to you know, observe them, how they affect our data, but also to even remove them so that we can make better conclusions about the results that we're seeing. In order to do this, we use what's called the 1.5 times IQR rule. What this rule says is any value that is further then 1.5 times the IQR from the middle 50% is considered an outlier. So what we're going to do is we will figure out the Q1 and the Q3. The Q1 and the Q3 represent the start and stop of the middle 50% of our data. And any value that is 1.5 times IQR smaller than Q1 or 1.5 times IQR greater than Q3 is outside of the allowable values. Now, I made a note here that Q1 minus 1.5 RQR is the lowest acceptable value. This doesn't have to be an actual data point. To show what I mean, let's take a look at our data we see below. So, first of all, I've already numbered our data, 0 through 56. Now, we want to consider our five-number summary. To get our five-number summary, we know that our min is 0 and that our max is 56. And we have a total of... 26 data points. Since we have 26 data points, if we were to do 26 divided by 2, that tells me that the middle of my data is going to be at the 13th spot. So to get my median, I'm going to average the 13th and the 14th data point. So if we count into there, the 13th would be right here at this 12, therefore my median would fall right in the middle. So my median is 12 minutes. Now, when our median is in between two values, that's going to take our data and separate it into the lower half and the top half. This lower 12 and this upper 12 are still considered when I consider my lower 50% and my upper 50%. All right, so now when I go to find my Q1, there are 13 data points on the lower half. And if I do 13 divided by 2, I get 6.5 which means I'm going to use the seventh data point, which is 10. So 10 is my Q1, and if I do the same thing for my Q3, I get my Q3 to be 14. Okay, now when I go to find the interquartile range, I'm going to do Q3 minus Q1, so 14 minus 10, which gives me 4. Now my 1.5 times IQR cutoffs, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do 1.5 times 4, which gives me 6. So what that means is that I'm allowed to go 6 units below my Q1, 10 minus 6, which is 4, and 6 units above my Q3, which gives me 20. So what this tells me is that 4 is the lowest allowed value, and 20 is the greatest allowed value. Now that I've figured this out, I want to go back and look at my data and see if I have any true outliers as defined by this rule. Now if I look at my data, I can see that my cutoffs are right here <clears throat> in between the 0 and the 8, and here after the 18 because 4 is the smallest allowed value and 20 is the greatest allowed value. Therefore, 0, 42, and 56 are considered true outliers. Now, when I graph my modified box plot, and a modified box plot 
means that the whiskers only extend to the lowest and highest allowed data values in the data set. So what that means is that if I look back at my data, since 8 was the lowest value in my data that was acceptable, then 8 is going to be the lowest that my whisker will go. Even though I was allowed to go all the way down to 4, it doesn't matter because 8 is the smallest number that I had in my data set within the allowable limits. And any outliers are graphed with a small mark. Um, so some people use a little box, some people put an X, something like that to denote that there is data there. However, um, we're not including it because it's, it's making my box plot look incorrect. All right, so when I go to draw my new box plot, I'm going to have my number line. And then if I label my number line, we'll start with 0, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. And the new five number summary is going to represent my new min and my new max. So my newest minimum is 8 because that's the lowest value within the limits for my, or consider my outliers. And then I have 10, 12, and 14 for my Q1, median, and Q3, and 18 is my newest maximum. Notice that the Q1, median, and Q3 stayed the same. Only my minimum and my maximum were adjusted. So now I can go ahead and plot my five points on my number line. And you're going to notice that these five points are very close together. And what that tells me is that this data um, does not have a lot of spread that is clustered very close together. Then when I graph my outliers, I've got one at zero, and I have one at 42, and I have one at 56. I'll see that those values are way out there. And if I were to have drawn my whisker to include those outliers, you can see that I would have had a much different looking graph. In example two, we are asking you to create a modified box plot. When you create a modified box plot, you need to first get your five number summary. Then you have to determine what is your 1.5 times IQR to see if there are any outliers. After you've determined if you have any outliers, you need to find your new five number summary with a new max and min if needed, and then we're going to graph the modified box plot. Go ahead and follow through with this example on your own, and then unpause the video and check your solutions. As we can see here, I have my five number summary listed. We find our IQR to be 12, and using the 1.5 times IQR rule, our outlier cutouts, cutouts are 18 units below the Q1 and 18 units above the Q3. Based on these limits of 23 and 71, 11, 83, and 89 are considered outliers. So when I graph my new, um, my modified box plot, notice that the Q1, median, and Q3 have not changed. Only the min and the max have been adjusted using these new cutoff values. If you struggle with the last example, then give this one a try on your own. If you did pretty well in the last example, then you should be okay to proceed with your homework. Otherwise, pause the video and try example three. In example three, we see that as we calculate our five number summary and do the 1.5 times IQR, we see that I don't have any values that are below the lowest acceptable minimum or above the highest accepted maximum. My minimum of seven and 17, or my minimum of seven and my maximum of 17 are within these allowable limits. So for that reason, there are no outliers. So when I do my graph, my graph is going to look just like my regular box plot that I did before. No outliers are present. All right, homework for tonight is Word Sheet 7.